Did God Almighty promise to wipe out Hezbollah? Hezbollah is a Lebanese Shia Islamic political party and a militant group. They call themselves Islamic resistance in Lebanon. They believe they are fighting on behalf of Allah, certainly not the God of the Bible. But in the Holy Scriptures, the God of Israel promised to wipe them out. Has it happened already? When is it going to happen? That is what we're talking about today and we are starting right now. On October 7, 2023, Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel and killed 1,200 people and took more than 250 as hostages. Israel responded to this attack by invading Gaza. The next day, Hezbollah decided to join the battle by firing rockets from the north. From then on, the northern part of Israel has been under fire with many who were being evacuated to bomb shelters. The Israeli forces continue to pound Hamas in Gaza, but the attacks continue from southern Lebanon by Hezbollah. The state of Israel decided to respond by attacking Hamas by attacking Hezbollah military post located in the southern part of Lebanon. Hezbollah increased the attack and thereby forcing Israel to escalate the war. As Hezbollah was attacking Israel, the confederation of Simeon and Levi couldn't take it anymore. If you don't know the confederation of Simeon and Levi, please watch this video to understand how it works. Anyway, somehow Israel found a way to hack all the Hezbollah pages. The next thing was explosions of those pages inside the pockets of Hezbollah militants. More than 3,000 Hezbollah militants were injured and about 12 of them died. From pages to walkie-talkies, everything was exploding. We hear that even solar panels were exploding. It was in that time that Israel took advantage of the situation and eliminated most, if not all, leaders of Hezbollah. We were witnessing the confederation of Simeon and Levi at work. Israel continued until they got the big fish, that is Hassan Nasrallah. As things stand, Hezbollah is collapsing. And to make matters worse, Israel is right now inside Lebanon doing what they did in Gaza. Whether you believe it or not, things are changing in the Middle East. Okay, I ask this important question. Did God Almighty promise to wipe out Hezbollah? What does the Bible say? Let us go into the scriptures now. Ezekiel 28 has a prophecy which I want us to unpack. Ezekiel 28, verse 20 to 22. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Zidon, and prophesy against it, and say, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Zidon, and I will be glorified in the midst of thee, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall have executed judgments in her and shall be sanctified in her. Here, Zidon is about to be judged, as you can see. Before we continue with the prophecy, let's ask this question. Who is Zidon? Zidon was an Asian Phoenician city on the Mediterranean coast. It is that old city where the famous evil Jezebel came from. No wonder. Usually in the Bible, you will hear about Tyre and Zidon together. I'm sure you can remember now. The ancient city of Zidon was located in the same landmass of what we call Lebanon today. So as we read the prophecy, I need you to understand that the Lord is specifically talking about Lebanon. Now let's continue from verse 23. For I will send her, I will send into her pestilence and blood into her streets, and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and there shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel, nor any, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them, that despise them. You see, 
these people that are around Israel, they despise Israel, just what is happening today. And they shall know that I am the Lord God. It can't get clearer than this. The God of Israel is saying he will send pestilence and blood into Zidon. That means judgment. Another thing, this judgment is similar to the judgment in Egypt, in the Bible. God makes a statement which helps us know exactly who in Lebanon he is talking about. He says, and they shall no more be, they, and they shall, they shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them. What is a pricking briar? A briar is a plant or a shrub, often with thorns. Maybe you are trying to cut out some leaves from the shrub, but the briar won't let you do it easily. It pricks. It's difficult. In the prophecy, we are told that they shall, they shall no more be a pricking briar from Zido. In other words, Lebanon will not be able to continue its threats against Israel. But Lebanon as a nation is not fighting Israel. You need to understand that. The problem is Hezbollah, the political party and a militant group of Lebanon. So the Lord was saying, Hezbollah will be destroyed and they won't be able to be a grieving thorn unto Israel. That is why I ask, did God promise to wipe out Hezbollah? Someone can say, the prophecy means something else. For 30 years, Israel has not been able to tame Hezbollah. I mean to the point of killing its leader. Hassan Nasrallah. This is the first time. Hezbollah has no leadership right now. As many of them were being eliminated by Israel. I told you, when the confederation of Simeon and Levi is at work, you have strange things going on in the camp of the enemy. Hassan Nasrallah was eliminated. His successor was eliminated. The successor of the successor was eliminated as well. Right now, that post is very hot. No one wants to take it. While all this is going on, Israel has invaded the southern part of Lebanon just to make sure that there is no more threat from Lebanon. Someone may say, Israel is very aggressive. Maybe you need to read the scriptures a little. God said, and they shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them. Are we watching the fulfillment of prophecy in Lebanon? In my mind, there is no doubt that these are the days of Ezekiel. We hope to make a video on the days of Ezekiel very soon. Listen to the last verses after God has dealt with the enemies of Israel. Verse 25. Thus said the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of, of the heathens. Then shall they dwell in their land. That means the Jews. They shall dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. He says they shall dwell. Some people say they are still in the land. Okay. The Jews are coming back to the Holy Land as prophesied. Israel shall be safe again according to the scriptures. The economy of Israel shall be stronger and nations will not be able to understand why. Verse 26. And they shall dwell safely. There will even be safety in that land. No more rockets anymore. He says they shall dwell safely therein. And shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yea, they shall dwell with confidence. That means the economy will be doing well. When I, shall, when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them. And they shall know that I am the Lord. He's talking about those Muslims that, are, that despise Israel. That means even Iran will be neutralized because Iran is behind all them that despise Israel in the Middle East. I personally believe that Hezbollah will, will be no more very soon. And this is the time. Until next time, this is Bishop Judah, dissolving doubts and explaining of hard sentences through the word of God. God bless you.